Admittedly, this is going to be a very different video. Um, this has to do with uh, soda, bubble water, uh, homemade bubble water to be exact. If you know me in real life, you'd be like, damn, that boy drank a lot of Diet Coke. You would be correct on that assessment. Never was a too big of a deal because it's kind of ubiquitous and cheap, but I mean, obviously I hate the idea of supporting a company like Coca-Cola. And on the other hand, especially once lockdown went into case, it became like very expensive. Plastic or aluminum comes in your house. And I was thinking, well, I want to find a better way. And I did find a better way and I want to talk about it. So this is something different. This is not like the other videos I make. This is a, this is a bit of a different animal. I never actually say the name until like three minutes into the video, but uh, the brand is Spark Hell by Bonio. I, I don't know, but let's get bubbling. This is the second version I've had of this and the first one broke, but I am still excited to share this with you. I don't really know how to describe it. I think the term is carbonator but I don't know if that's accurate. It does turn regular water into bubbly water. But unlike some of the traditional carbonators, when it comes to CO2 tanks, this guy says tanks, but no tanks. First thing we're gonna do is we're gonna open this thing up. I'm gonna tell you a little bit of the backstory and I'm gonna try not to cut myself. set this right here so I don't hurt myself. This is available in black. There are several colors this one comes in. Instruction manual that's colorful. A uh, little cardboard here. So much freaking cardboard. Woo! Okay. I know it doesn't look like much yet. What I'm looking for is back here. There's a lot of tape. Let's de-tape this thing shall we? Ah, so much freaking tape. So in the back here, this is the water reservoir. Now these are carbonators, carbonator sachets. Anyways, the key ingredients here, we have two of these, A and B carbonator. One of these is citric acid and the other one is baking soda and that's all it is you put the combination baking soda citric acid which they recommend only using their brand let's see what else we got here this is where the excess liquid collects when it's done again this is my second one so I don't need to read the instructions because I've already gone through this I've had this thing for about a year before it died no I'm sorry almost two years there it is. This is this is this is it. It's ready to rock. It's just that easy. It comes with these uh, groovy little these little cup things. One-way valve on the bottom and the top with a gasket. What happens is you fill the sucker up with water. The chemicals come down here, dump and mix them with the water from the back tank, and that of course makes the CO2, which expels the gas, the bubbles, up through the bottom and infuses it with the water. Now none of the water back here ends up in here. None of the chemicals in here ends up in here just the gas that it generates. So my biggest problem with this machine isn't the fact that it broke down and I had to get it replaced. In fact, that is actually, well, I guess it's related to the problem. The biggest problem I have is these are the only guys that I can find that are doing it. Sparkle, or I like to call it Sparkel, which always makes me think of, you know, Steve Urkel versus Steve Urkel. They're the only ones doing this one. Um, you go to SodaStream, all those other ones, they all have CO2 tanks. When I first got this thing, there was a CO2 shortage. So everyone on the forum who had the soda streams was complaining they weren't able to make any bubbles. And I had plenty of carbonators because I had this one, my sister bought one. Um, we actually ordered some extra bottles. So we have a total of five now, including this one and they gave us more carbonators. So I haven't had to buy very much baking soda and um, citric acid, but it does work. It does work. They do not recommend you using it, but it does work. 
the reason why it bothers me that these are the only guys in town that do this is there's if something goes wrong and you suddenly decide you don't want to deal with Spark Hill, you can't really go to a competitor unless you want to deal with CO2 bottles. Which I am I am not going to deal with CO2 bottles. Not only is this easier to store, I mean it's just it's two chemicals you can keep the thing up. I keep my, my extra baking soda in a box that it came in. I think I also use a, uh, like a Tostitos jar. So much easier to store, much, so much safer to store. Like if whatever, whatever failed on the other one could possibly fail on this one as well. And if Sparkle doesn't address that, I can't be like, well, I'm tired of these guys. There's no competition in space. I mean, there is competition in the home soda machines, but it's again, CO2. It's bubble time. Okay, so first thing you want to do is make sure the tank got liquid in it. Make sure this drain thing is emptied out. And then lift this thing up and in the carburetor solution goes right there. Because I'm a mad klutz, I use this little guy right here. Mostly because, um, but right here is where things can collect. I don't think you want anything to get in there. So I got this off Amazon with a pack of three different sizes. And uh, this is how I load it in. Alright, so we got our carbonator. We could just kind of sprinkle this into there. And to get it to go down, I just kind of Yeah, there we go. It's all in there nice and deep. Let me just close this down, make sure that's latched. Freshly out of the fridge, you can see it's a little on the chilled side. Pop this down here. Now, okay, so you have five levels of bubbliness. I don't understand that. Like, why would you want anything other than five? I, I don't get it. That's weird to me. But here's where we're going to go. We're going to go put the handle down, select your flavor, and hit the little button. Seventy-two hours later. Another nice part about this is unlike buying soda from the store, I can actually control how much soda I ingest. I use this uh, bubble machine for Diet Cola. You can see right there. Look at those beautiful, beautiful bubbles. It's very, very bubbly. But it can be used for anything, really, that you want to add, that you want to infuse carbonation to. In fact, I'm kind of cutting back on the amount of syrup I use. This is like half the syrup for this big tall glass. This is, this is the kind of tall glass I'd prep for like a meal. No shit. And I cut, I literally cut the amount of syrup in 50%. I'm going to work on that and then drop it down to like 25%. Not only that, that, you know, better for overall health to not consume that much uh, caffeine and sodium, but also it makes the ingredients I have last a bit longer. So if I can save money and be healthier, I'm here for it. Well, if you enjoyed this video, give this video a like or uh, the other guy. If you like what I got going on here, you can always subscribe. And of course, there's links down below to my Patreon and LibrePay. These guys over here are my current Patreon members. They're awesome, and without their support, I would not be able to make amazing videos like me opening a bubble machine. Yeah. <laughs>